dude. No carbs after 6 p.m. You're gonna get fat otherwise. Fat. Maybe you've heard different advice about when you should eat your food and what's the best time for consuming your carbohydrates. Load up on carbs at breakfast, don't eat before bed, and yeah, keep your blood sugar elevated throughout the entire day. Is this true? In this video, I'm gonna tell you when are you the most insulin sensitive and what's the best time to eat carbs. Scientists have noted that humans and all other organisms have diurnal rhythms that correspond with the light cycles of the environment. They're called circadian rhythms and they affect all physiological processes of your body, including carbohydrate metabolism. The master clock inside the brain communicates with the peripheral clocks through the autonomic nervous system, hormones, regulation of body temperature, physical movement and food intake. Peripheral clocks in metabolically active tissues like the liver, muscle, white adipose tissue and brown adipose tissue are especially sensitive to the cues coming from the master clock because they themselves can't detect light directly. That's why these organs tend to be more responsive to meal timing and eating. Circadian misalignment increases insulin resistance and decreases pancreatic function. It's also associated with obesity, diabetes, depression and weight gain. In one study, lesions to the master clock inside the rodents' brains make them insulin resistant in just 8 weeks. Shift workers have a higher risk of diabetes, which is due to the reduced glucose tolerance caused by circadian misalignment. Being chronically misaligned with the circadian rhythms promotes insulin resistance and reduces your metabolic flexibility. Insulin resistance contributes greatly to type 2 diabetes, which is considered one of the four priority non-communicable diseases by the World Health Organization. Diabetes. So, as you can see, proper circadian alignment is very important in metabolizing carbohydrates and keeping yourself insulin sensitive. Insulin resistance leads to disease, whereas insulin sensitivity promotes body composition and general health. Glucose tolerance changes rhythmically because of the diurnal rhythm in whole body insulin sensitivity. You are more insulin sensitive during daytime and less so at night. This supposedly fits the patterns of physical activity and rest. You move and exert energy during daytime and you sleep at night where you're burning fewer calories. The master clock controls the daily rhythm of several hormones that affect glucose tolerance such as cortisol, melatonin, growth hormone, glucagon and others. Cortisol, the stress hormone, rises in the morning to offset the day. It reduces insulin secretion through the HPA axis and glucocorticoids. Melatonin, the hormone of darkness, inhibits insulin production by the pancreas. That's why you become more insulin resistant at night. Therefore, eating at night time will keep your blood sugar elevated for longer because you have a suboptimal rate of insulin secretion. If all other things were to be equal, the calorie consumption, the macronutrient ratios, as well as the body composition of the people who ate the food, then you would see a higher glucose tolerance in the morning than in the evening just because it fits the circadian rhythms better. So if you were to be thrown into the wilderness and you would eat the same food in the same proportions, then your body would tolerate it better in the morning when you're more active. Carbohydrates and glucose are digested in the gastrointestinal tract. Intestinal cells also contain molecular clocks and this one picks up cues from food. The clock in your gut regulates intestinal motility and nutrient absorption. Research in mice shows that one of the circadian clock genes, ARNTL, regulates glucose transporters called gluts to match the timing of maximal monosaccharide uptake to habitual feeding times. Therefore, the time of when you usually eat your food also creates a subjective circadian rhythm that functions based on your own habits. Your muscles also have an autonomous molecular clock. It's regulated by the master clock, but signals from food and exercise do it as well. Independent of all other factors, your body is the most insulin sensitive and glucose tolerant after intense physical exercise. High intensity exercise depletes muscle glycogen, which can be resynthesized with consuming carbohydrates. That's why people who do resistance training are healthier, leaner, and they can get away with eating more carbs. Their body just shuttles glucose into the cells and stores it as muscle glycogen. Strength training increases insulin-mediated glucose uptake, GLUT4 content, and insulin signaling in skeletal muscle in patients with type 2 diabetes. GLUT4 is a glucose transporter that allows glucose to enter muscle and fat cells independent of insulin. So, if you're consuming carbs in the evening, then you can mitigate the potential negative side effects of reduced insulin sensitivity by exercising before and doing some resistance training. At that point, consuming those carbs can be beneficial for replenishing your muscle glycogen stores as well as making you more relaxed and producing some of the sleep hormones and relaxation hormones like serotonin. Can I have that Milky Way? As long as you don't eat literally before going to bed, 
then you should be fine. Just make sure that you keep physical exercise a regular part of your routine and ideally do it before eating your carbohydrates, whether the earlier in the day or the later in the day, because your body is the most insulin sensitive after doing resistance training. And that's the best time to eat carbs, actually, no, no matter what time of the day it is. Especially people who do both intermittent fasting as well as resistance training, these people are very insulin sensitive because their muscle glycogen tends to be somewhat depleted and they get the increased insulin sensitivity from fasting and managing their blood sugar. If you want to know how to eat for optimal circadian rhythm alignment, body composition, longevity and insulin sensitivity, then check out my Metabolic Autophagy Masterclass. But other than that, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you click like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is Seem. Stay optimized, stay empowered.